Anyways, today we're going to be making a bee's knees. Bee's knees is a prohibition era drink that was created by a Austrian Jewish man in Paris in 1921. It's essentially made up of gin, lemon juice, and honey syrup. When you make a cocktail, you always want to start with your cheapest ingredient, the honey and the lemon. See what I'm doing. Yes. So, we take our jigger, which is just the thing that you measure the ingredients with. Um, mine is half an ounce and an ounce. Some of them are two ounces and one ounce. It just depends. So we're gonna take our lemon juice and for a bee's knees, you'll wanna use an ounce of lemon juice. And you can always change this if it's, if you prefer something tarter or sweeter, you can always play around with the measurements. But I personally prefer one ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of honey syrup, and two ounces of gin. So I'm gonna take half an ounce of honey syrup. What is honey syrup? Oh, honey syrup is just a mixture of honey and hot water. So if you want to make simple syrup, it's just sugar and hot water. Um, equal amounts? Yes, equal amounts. And honestly, I recommend making your own because it's so easy and it lasts a very long time in the fridge. As we go, I will be telling you guys more about how, how to make your own syrups, your own tinctures, your own bitters. Because honestly, you can do all of this stuff on your own and it's really fun. So now I have my lemon juice and my honey. So now it's the time for the gin. This is Boodles, which is one of the few gins that's actually not made with any fruit or citrus. It smells like juniper. All gin is made of juniper, but then certain companies will add extra floral ingredients or whatever. And for our bee's knees, I prefer lemon dry just because if the flavors go well with everything. And honestly, I'll probably spill because I usually spill it when we think. But... But now that our gin is in, and again, this is the most expensive ingredient, that's why I left it till the end. Now you're gonna take about three to four ice cubes, and you'll wanna use a shaker, and if you don't have a shaker, I'm gonna put a link in the description. You can get this off of Amazon, it's like $14. Um, it comes with everything you'll need. It comes with a jigger, it comes with a stir, and um, it's just a pretty good hearty model for um, a basic shaker. The general rule of thumb is you want to shake for about 30 seconds, but I've discovered that if I stop shaking when my hands are starting to get frozen, that's usually a good time. A shaker like this actually comes with a strainer in it, which is great because then all you do is go like this. And you've got yourself a bee's knees. Now you can always garnish it with lemon peel. A lot of people like to do that. Um, I'm not doing that because I'm not hosting a party or anything, so there's really no reason to make it fancy. Your shaker will be hard to open, uh, for a little bit at least, just because the ice is creating a vacuum. So you'll have to wait a few minutes if you're making multiple drinks for people. Or again, just run it under hot water, and then I generally use like a paper towel or a dishcloth to help me get it off. Cheers. It's really good. I would say I probably could have used more honey syrup. I did half an ounce just to, because I don't like my drinks really, really sweet. But I could have probably done a whole ounce and been okay and gotten a bit more balance in there because right now it's very citrusy. But it is tasty. I'm probably not gonna drink this because I have a lot more cocktails to get through. It's really good. If you're making this, now would be a good time to enjoy it. We're moving on to the Bee Stings at Midnight, which is a drink that 